Polish Foreign Minister Radoslav Sikorski believes that the issue of intercepting Russian missiles over Ukraine by member states may be raised at the next NATO ministerial meeting. He said this on TVN24. According to Sikorsky, the discussion of the possibility of destroying missiles outside of Ukrainian territory should be considered in the context of self-defense. Next week, there will be a regular NATO ministerial meeting. Perhaps this issue will be on the agenda, the Polish minister said. Sikorsky also spoke about relations with Ukraine and commented on Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's request to shoot down Russian missiles flying towards Poland before they cross the country's border. He noted that this raises the question of where the right to self-defense begins and ends. Do we have the right to shoot down such a missile only when it is over our territory? In this case, there is no doubt, but then there may be risks. As happened in Pshevaduf, where the missile debris caused damage, injured or even killed people, Sikorsky said. He added that there may be different opinions on Ukraine's request and this issue requires discussion and agreement among allies. Recently, the U.S. Helsinki Commission asked President Joe Biden to allow Poland to shoot down missiles over Ukraine. President Volodymyr Zelensky stated in July that Ukraine and Poland are working on creating a mechanism that will allow Polish air defense to track missiles and drones over Ukrainian territory. For this part, the Polish Minister of Defense noted that before making such a decision, Warsaw needs to consult with its NATO partners. At the same time, Dutch Defence Minister Ruben Breckelmans stated that the possibility of partner countries shooting down missiles and drones from Russia over Ukraine poses more risks than benefits. He added that this is exactly the type of escalation that NATO allies are trying to prevent. Breckelmans believes that this approach of the partners is also in favour of Ukraine. We should always look for creative ways to help Ukraine, but we also have to weigh the benefits against the risks in each case. So far, there is no difference. This is the approved decision, summarized the Dutch defense minister. Voters in Atlanta headed to the polls Tuesday to cast their ballots for the next president of the United States. Beyond the presidential race, Georgia's most competitive elections this year are in a handful of the state's 180 state house districts. Democrats are trying to reduce the Republicans' current 102 to 78 majority in the lower chamber of the General Assembly. The hardest fought districts include six stretching across northern Atlanta suburbs in Fulton and Gwinnett counties. Each party is trying to wrest away three districts held by the other. Democrats have campaigned on overturning Georgia's current abortion restrictions, doing more to limit guns, and expanding the Medicaid program to more low-income adults. Republicans have touted their support for low taxes, police, and school vouchers. Well, I think he's a better candidate. I don't, I did, if I'm going to a lawyer or a doctor or a physician for assistance, the last thing I care about is their personality, their religion, or their attitude. I need brain surgery, I want a good brain surgeon. I need a lawyer, I'm going to court, I want the best one I can get. Well, I'm supporting Kamala Harris. And uh, what brought me to the poll today is I think my vote counts. And I cannot allow that man to get into office. It I want a more independent candidate. And the reason being is because I think that there's too much control in the government. And I would rather have a more independent that gives more freedom. She presented all of the answers to my questions in life and in country, and she's a, she was a very good vice president. You're right, yeah, it was just one of those like weird, yeah, y'all have, y'all both live on 5th Street. And the fact that Joe Biden chose her to be vice president is good enough for me. Here and the other, and it's, yeah, and I'm like, listen, I'm sorry. 